So um, pretty much Terrence Crawford, he had some choice words for for Jamel Charlo after his performance against Brian Castaño, pretty much saying, hey, um, I don't understand, you know, I guess he said pretty much why, this is why you're not on the pound for pound list, you know what I mean, fighting like that or whatever, right? And I guess Jamel Chawler responded saying, oh, you fight as Uber drivers. And then Terrence Crawford replied, well, if that's all I'm fighting, I'm sure I'm making it look easy. And Terrence Crawford got a point. And here's the thing, right? Like, you can't say nothing about fighting Uber drivers, right? When, you know, when you... When you've been fighting certain competition that was supposedly subpar, that could have been on the same level as the people that Terrence Crawford was fighting, or even lesser, and you were struggling. This is for Jamel. Jamel struggled a few times with some, with, a, with a quite a bit of fighters, man. Right? So, Bud has iced and got and stopped everybody so far that he's been fighting. Rather, you think they're Uber drivers, or rather, people think. Those are those dudes are the who has he fought category of fighters, but he still stopped them though. Stopped them. Rather KO or the ref stopped it, whatever. So when Jamel says stuff like that, he kind of put his foot in his own mouth when you, when you say that because um, Brian Castaño is definitely no no Uber driver, but. You went in there and said you was going, you, you know, you a killer and all this other stuff, and and you went in there and damn, they got smoked. You got smoked. I got, I got him being getting smoked straight through from rounds three all the way to fucking nine. I don't know how some of these channels got, um, or that even that um that judge Velasquez, how the hell he had? I think he had Brian Castaño only winning three fucking rounds. I'm like, how you got Brian Castaño winning three rounds? I think that's what I saw on that on the scorecards. I'm like, you got him winning three rounds? Just three? I couldn't believe that. Crazy. So it looked like things are starting to heat up between Jamel Charlo and um Terrence Crawford. I think a lot of this gotta do with the rivalry with you know how Errol Spence and Jamel Charlo, they stable mates, they they cool. And then you know Terrence Crawford. Is 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 jabbing at Jamel Charlo for a reason. I think what's gonna happen is, man, uh Terrence Crawford is probably gonna end up going up soon because I've seen pictures of him. Looks like he's bulking up, like he's getting himself ready to go up to 154. And likely he's gonna end up fighting Jamel Charlo. And Errol Spence talking about if he don't get the Terrence Crawford fight at 147. He's supposed to move up. He'll move up. But if you move up, Terrence Crawford's going to be up there too, more than likely. So one way or another, Errol is going to have to see Terrence Crawford, bro. And if he beats Jamel, if they fight, he's going to have to see him. And it's, it's a respect. It's an honor. It's a thing. You know what I mean? Like, oh, shit, this dude just, he, he spanked my homeboy. I got to go in there and I got to go in there and, 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 and get some get some wreck back for my boy. That could be what Terrence Crawford trying to do, man. Look like he trying to, um, like he poking at him, and he's poking at, he's poking right at Jamel, and that also indirectly pokes at Errol Spence too. I see it, I see what's happening, but I got confidence, bro. I like Bud, bro. Um, it's just some of the things I didn't like that he had said about the not taking, not wanting to fight no more, and all that shit, and the stuff with Bob Arum. Other than that, man, I think Terrence Crawford, man, I think is a reason. I think he give Jamel pro Jamel Charlo problems, bro. I think he give Jamel Charlo problems because Brian Castaño gave him some problems, man. I'm pretty sure Terrence Crawford is more skilled, and I think Terrence Crawford might hit harder than Brian Castaño, man. See what people don't understand is like you say Terrence Crawford is small, bro. He's small because he's been campaigning at 147. Once you start campaigning at 154, you'll see the difference. You'll see. You'll see. And I think his power is going to move up. Because I think Terrence Crawford, his power his power uh, moved up, man. He had power at 140. And it looked like his power might be even more vicious at 147. So if that's the case, man, if he move up to 154, 
his power might be even more vicious than that 147 right that's how i'm seeing this shit man so arrow you know arrow saying all kind of stuff man arrow saying that hey, he want to fight but then um then back then he said that he's not leaving the division until he get the bud fight so i'm assuming then when after this pacquiao fight is over with that he's gonna do everything in his ability right to get the terrence crawford fight because you said you're not leaving the division without that fight so i don't want to hear nothing about no 70 30 no 90 10 no 60 no um 80 20 i don't want to hear none of that i want to try to get in the ring make that fight happen if you said that you're gonna make that fight happen you're not leaving without that belt then you shouldn't it, doesn't, it shouldn't matter what the person all that the purse bid the purse splits and all that just get in there and take his belt if it's like that that's how i see it so very interesting things that's unfolding right now uh between uh terence crawford jamel charlo and errol spence they're all intertwined one way or another and we're gonna see exactly how this plays out but anyway i'm off this get back to me man this is rebel life boxing i'll catch y'all later on the next one man peace out